The year is 1953, and there's a problem. Childhood leukemia rates are skyrocketing. Doctors were at a loss. They had no idea what was causing it. Everyone knew it would take a brilliant mind to discover the cause, but no one would have guessed it would take a fighter to convince the public to listen. Luckily for us, Dr. Alice Mary Stewart was both. When Alice, then working in Oxford, caught wind of the rising leukemia rates, she had to investigate. But getting funding as a woman wasn't easy, a reality Alice knew all too well. Like years before when she was studying at Cambridge and was openly mocked by her entire class just for being a woman. Experiences like this taught Alice that as a woman, she just had to work harder. When Alice finally got her funding, she started by conducting massive surveys with mothers of children with leukemia. And when the results came in, there it was, clear as day. The rising leukemia rates were directly linked to pregnant mothers who were getting x-rayed. This was a common practice at the time, because then, low doses of radiation were deemed safe. Yes, the atom is on its way. In fact, x-rays were everywhere. They were used for hair removal, as a gimmick to sell shoes, and even as a way to fight aging. It employs a mask which contains radioactive elements. What's more, this was the nuclear era, a time when the possibilities of nuclear energy seemed limitless. Peaceful power from atomic energy is no dream of the future. So when Alice, then an unknown British scientist, published her work showing that even low-dose radiation could be lethal, the backlash was severe. Studies began appearing, discrediting her work. While hugely flawed, these studies were enough to tarnish Alice's reputation, and soon she began losing funding. But she pressed forward and continued to build her database, self-funding the endeavor. And for the next 20 years, she collected enough data to show, without a shadow of a doubt, that low-dose radiation was lethal. While her findings were eventually accepted and major changes were made, it took decades. Nearly a billion x-rays are taken every year. According to the federal government, a third of those x-rays are unnecessary. And it's hard not to wonder, if it had been a man that came forward with these findings, would it have taken so long? Alice's work is cause for celebration, but how she was treated should stand as a reminder that prejudice runs deep. And at the end of the day, it hurts everyone. And already, through the healing power of the atom, we can all look forward to happier, healthier lives for ourselves and our families.